All right, guys, we're recording. Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Eugene, Oregon, my first time on the West Coast. Uh, I'm in my hotel room now at the Signature Inn. And yeah, this is the bathroom. And this is the room. I'm getting ready to head out and go for a run. Day before a race, I'm racing the 1500 meter run tomorrow on the track at around five to 7 p.m. I'm gonna try to see if someone will film that race. But yeah, this is my first time on the West Coast, first time in Oregon. And yeah, we're gonna go check out Pre's trail. If you know who Steve Prefontaine is, you're awesome. If you don't, I'm sorry, you're missing out on life, but just look it up. We're gonna head to Pre's trail. I've never been there. Like I said, my flight landed yesterday late. Uh, it was about 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Pacific time, my flight landed, uh, left Atlanta, Georgia, and then flight stopped in Denver, Colorado, and now we're here in Eugene, Oregon. It Now, this time of my digital watch is not right. Hopefully, you can see that in the mirror. I don't know. But it says 2.53 p.m., but this is on Eastern Standard Time. We're on um, Pacific Standard Time now, so it's not 2.54 p.m. It's actually... Uh, 11 54 p.m almost noon and hopefully this battery hopefully we have plenty of sd card storage i think we do and plenty of battery life in the camera we're gonna go for about i don't know my i've been dealing with this foot injury pretty badly um left foot bottom of the left foot and top of the left foot to ankle everything has been not feeling so great since the start of june it is today it is june 19th sunday june 19th and so, yeah, been almost three weeks with this foot injury and, you know, I've just been managing as best I can. I have some new shoes. I'm wearing the, um, I don't know if you can see or here, I can try to show like this, but yeah, I'm wearing the Nike Tempo Next Percent men's running shoe. And I ran about 13 and a half or 14 miles consecutively. Um, two days ago and then I biked 50 minutes yesterday and I didn't have any pain two days ago on that run but 75% of that run was on the track here we're going to run about not quite two miles to get to the trail or I'm going to like jog it because I really need to take it easy I got the race tomorrow night and my foot's been bugging me like I said so I want to be safe so we're going to run about two miles to the trail and then um and then we're going to run four I believe the trail is a four mile loop um, has some nice scenery apparently, wood chip trail, things like that, uh, something like that. So yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go do that. We're gonna run a little bit less than two miles. This is a bad thing, like I said. A little bit less than two miles to the trail, run probably the entire four mile loop, but just take it nice and easy. I'm gonna go nice and slow. If I have to stop and walk because I'm having foot pain, I will. And then I'm probably gonna walk you know, the less than two miles back to the hotel after, because I don't want to run. I really only want to run about, I really only wanted to run about two or four miles, but I, I only here until uh, the race is tomorrow night and then my flight leaves early Tuesday morning. So I really only have today to, uh, you know, explore downtown and see the city and whatnot sites and stuff like that. So, you know, we got to do what we got to do. I'm going to run a little bit longer today than I would have originally planned. I was thinking about actually not running at all, but then I saw the tree, the trail is so close to the hotel. I figured we got to do it. So uh, I was planning on only running about 15 minutes at the most 15, 20 minutes, but this run will probably turn out to be, you know, uh, 45 minutes, mm, you know, maybe longer. But like I said, we're going to walk back because I really don't want to run like eight miles. That'd just be too, too much. Um, and if I, I probably am not going to record the walk back to the hotel, um, or I could, but if the battery dies, the battery dies, but yeah, anyway, we're going to get started with the run now and, uh, that's that. We're going to go out. Here we are at the hotel. Uh, got my key card with me so we can get back in and now I want to make sure that we don't get lost. That's the biggest thing. I'm hoping that we do not get lost. And I'm also gonna time this run here. So, yeah. 
my foot already immediately. All right, I gotta focus on making sure we don't get lost. But yeah, my foot already doesn't feel so great right now, but it's not unbearable. But I gotta be really careful because the plan is to race tomorrow night. That's the whole reason I came out here, flew out here. But yeah, I went on Apple Maps and mapped out the uh, route I gotta take beforehand. So hopefully we don't get lost. Should just be a few simple turns to get there. I don't want to jaywalk and be that guy, but I'm about to do it. I'm pretty sure I know where we're going. Just gotta make sure I don't lose this key card. If I do though, they'll, they'll make a new one or give me a new one to get in my room. It's actually a lot of traffic out here. That market right there, 6th Avenue, Bruns Apple Market. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, this is a good Thai restaurant right here to my left, I heard. But I went to that market last night and got some snacks. Some muffins, some chips. It was really good. Yeah, this should be the right way here. I love this. This is so good for running compared to Atlanta. Sidewalks everywhere, bike lanes everywhere. Totally flat here. It's nice and cool. Lots of people walking outside. Lots of people. It's a much more quaint town than uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Like I said, we're in Eugene, Oregon, which is on the West Coast. I believe it's about two hours south of Portland, Oregon, which is a relatively big city, home to the Trailblazers and they have a soccer team. I don't know what other teams they have, but well, that's nice. Yeah, it's actually it's actually the top of my foot that is bothering me right now, and it was a little bit two days ago as well. The bottom of my foot actually feels fine in these shoes right now. So I may have stop and walk portions of this, to be honest. So I already have an injury and I don't want to get another one or make it worse. Especially uh, you know, so close to the race day. I'm going under this bridge here, underpass. site restoration in progress it's like a Washington Jefferson Park that's to my right I know I'm going on the right way too because I looked at the route on Apple Maps the fastest route to get there so all this checks out right now I am headed the right direction I'm really doubting I'm gonna run this whole stretch, I think, because pushing forward off my left foot is hurting my uh, metatarsals, top of my left foot. It's, it's actually not as bad as when I started the run, though. It's a faint feeling right now, but 
I'm also taking it very easy. Taking it very easy. And I'm not pushing off my left foot really hard like I could using my forefoot. I'm not doing that so much right now. But yeah, we're on the west coast of the USA. My first time on the west coast. It's about 58 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Very cloudy. Feels amazing. This is so much different than the weather in Atlanta. It's crazy. Feels so different. Feels amazing. And I gotta pay attention to make sure I don't get lost. I definitely see why runners like to live out here. I can definitely see it. I hope I'm going the right way still. At some point, I have to make a left. And I was talking to you guys, whoever is watching this in the future. I was talking to you guys, not paying attention to the signs. I'm supposed to make a left on the high street. So, oh, this still says West Fifth Avenue, so I should be going the right way. It should turn into East Fifth Avenue up here soon. And then I'll keep going straight and eventually turn left on the high street and then cross some, or then I should be on East 4th Street Avenue and then cross something called the Deposio Bridge. And then I should be about there. Make a right onto, uh, can't remember the name right now, but. I'll know when I see it. It's crazy too, because I was telling my mother this on the phone when I was out when I was at the Denver International Airport. I was telling her that the people around around here, they just on average seem so much more fit and attractive than People that I see in uh, in Georgia, in Atlanta too, but especially more rural areas, southern comfort food, a lot of obesity. Around here, people have much healthier food available on average, it seems like. A lot more bikers and runners, a lot more active lifestyles I see. It's really refreshing. The air is so clean, like I feel like I can breathe so well it's insane like never felt like this Sorry. the air is so clean so much less polluted than in Atlanta big city be honest I am a little bit lost I think I have to go uh, not till we get through that gate do you guys know how to get to pre trail from here to where to pre trail Well, I'm trying to get to 4th Street. It's over there, right? 
I think I think it's that way. Thank you. What is this trail, bro? I'm getting lost. I hate stopping like that because I don't want to stop a lot during my run. And I don't want the battery to die, but I'm already lost, bro. I was supposed to turn left onto High Street to get here to 4th Street. But I don't know. I just have no idea where I am right now. I'm just lost. Shit. Please tell me this is High Street. Excuse me, do you guys know how to get to Priest Trail? No? Oh, okay. All right. It's fine. Thank you. Mill Street. God, bro, I should have been. Oh, I should have been paying more attention, man. East 4th Street. What's the name of this bridge? Okay, wait, the river is coming up. I have to cross the river somehow. So. I shouldn't be too far off. Maybe I can cross the river here. Oh, jeez, bro. I feel like I should have stayed on Fifth Street longer. Because I'm just lost, bro. Maybe I can cross right here. I'm definitely making this longer than it needs to be, but I gotta get across to that river. It's a beautiful river, by the way. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm just, a bridge across a river shouldn't be that hard to miss. There, that's a bridge across the river right there. Perfect. Yes. Wow, that is beautiful too. All right. We definitely went the wrong way a little bit, making this a little bit longer than it needed to be. Wait, could I cross there? I'm a little bit lost, to be honest. Excuse me, do you guys know, will I get to Priest Trail if I cross this bridge? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, go right over here. Yeah, this bridge, yeah. thank you. Nice, I thought so. Detour. Oh, yo. This bridge is sick. Extreme hazard, no diving or jumping from bridge. Yeah, I'd imagine. Wow, I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see. What a beautiful view. I'm stopping just for a second, maybe for the thumbnail. Hopefully you guys can get, I got a clear view of that. And this way, wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna stop the watch for a second. I'll point, I'll try to angle the camera down all around. There's a park over here. People on a trolley or something. That's so cool. That is beautiful. You can see the buildings downtown. All right, let me keep going. Top of my foot feels better right now too. And the bottom of my foot doesn't hurt. That's good. Wow, I see a huge horde of bikers over there. Now, now I just need to figure out which way I go from here. Which way, which way? Jeez, bro. This is another bridge, but 
like I, I see a lot of trails, but I want to go on Pree's trail. And I don't know which one it is. Oh, jeez, bro. Oh, man. My dumb ass just got so lost. Oh. I'm just lost. What is that guy talking about? University of Oregon. <sighs> oh wow, you can see the mountains in the distance. That's so cool. I'll try to point the camera up. Dude. Uh, how did I get so lost, man? All I wanted to do was just run priest trail. Very simple. Like, I didn't see a trail back there, but I didn't know if it was Priest Trail. It was a paved trail. It was a sidewalk. I thought this was supposed to be a wood chip trail. This is so confusing. Ah. Oh. Jeez. I mean, we crossed the river and we passed a park. Alton Baker Park. See, I don't know if Alton Baker Park is home to Priest Trail or not. I don't know. I just don't know. I have to well, ask some pedestrian or cyclist. I have to. I, I don't know how else I'm going to find. There's like three or four trailheads to Priest Trail too. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I just have to ask someone that's like a local here that knows the area. Wow, that na nature just smells so good, bro. My gosh, the air is so fresh and clean. It's crazy. I gotta ask one of these people. Excuse me, do you guys know which way, how I can get to Priest Trail? I'm, not, I, I, I'm not from around here at all. Not My first time here. I'm from around here and gosh, I'm, it's, um, I, I think, yeah, well, it's out by, uh, it's, it's the one that runs past uh, Austin Stadium, right? Oh, okay. So I get, so you'd want to go, if you follow this, this will curve around and it'll go back toward Austin Stadium and there's several places where you can kind of get over to it mm -hmm. where the like the Knickerbocker footbridge is um, you're not far from it but it's you want to go towards Austin Stadium and it's uh, I'm okay. just trying it's hard to explain it's okay I'm gonna talk to those people yeah. too see yeah, what they know good. thank you you're not far, though. thank you it's a really nice guy but I didn't want to stop for that long Surely that some people live around here and know the area. It's like a famous trail. This is Tracktown, USA, running capital of the world. There's a lot of park cars here. 
Excuse me, do any of you know how I can get to Priest Trail from here? I do not live around here. It's my first time here. Um, you see that um, shelter that. right there? It's a map of Priest Trail. Just Where? Across the parking lot, there's like a shelter overhang. There's a uh -huh. display information there. It's got a map of all Priest Trail right there. Thank you. There's some kind of event going on over there. That's why there's so many parked cars. It's Sunday. Wow, dogs. Lots of cars. The parking lot is full. This is crazy. Geese pond. Oh, this looks like a wood trip trail. Oh my, that is beautiful. Well, it looks like I'm here. Is this is the start of Priest Trail? Nice. I am from Atlanta. I've never been out here. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was trying to find it. Yeah, so this is free trail. You're right here. Uh, it kind of goes into three sections. So um, if you go clockwise, that's usually what I do across the river. Um, and then there's like a connector trail. There'll be like a dog park here. Um, and then uh, the rest of like two miles. So this whole the big loop is four miles? Yeah. And it, it's like... It's not gonna be hard. I'm not gonna get lost. You don't think there's gonna be signs no, everywhere? It's pretty well marked. Yeah. Okay. The hardest part is so like right here. Um, you'll follow this trail and it'll slightly connect up with this roadway, Autzen Stadium. That big stadium will be on your left hand side, and then there's a pedestrian bridge across that, and then right across the creek, you'll see a, a, a bark, another bark path to the left. I'm just glad I found it. I was asking people walking around and I've been running for like 20 minutes looking for it. Oh, really? I ran from across the river from a hotel. Yeah. Just in town for a few days. I've never been to the West Coast or Oregon. Oh, or really? It's so nice out here. The air is so fresh. I can yeah. smell everything. Not so much pollution. I live in Atlanta, Georgia in like a suburb there. A lot of hustle and bustle in the city. Yeah, a lot of car. Not people. so conducive to running. Or There's cyclists, runners everywhere. Everyone's so fit and active. I love it. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, it's these trails everywhere. Yeah, yeah, the river. Have you been on the river path then? Uh, the I just. For like, I don't know, 10 well, I'm, I'm running a race tomorrow night, so I was trying not to run too much. I just oh, yeah. crossed some bridge. I don't even know. Oh. I was trying to find this bridge, but I don't know which bridge I crossed. If it was yeah, that one so or not? The but. Bridge is just right over there. Um, yeah, just like right across Old Baker Park. Is, is it, it like, like red and whiteish? I think gray and red. Uh, because that might have been the one I crossed. Yeah. Like, no cars go on it, right? Yeah, there's three pedestrian bridges. Uh, oh. Fazio, there's Austin down there, and then there's another couple further further west. All right. But yeah, so this is Priest Trail, though. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is nice. All right, now the official run begins. We are on Priest Trail in Eugene, Oregon. Look at that. So, even though we ran a lot already, I think I'm gonna run the four, full four mile loop because I've stopped so much, which I would never normally stop on a run like this unless I was in pain. So, I think we'll run the four, full four mile loop and then stop and then try to walk back to the hotel. Dude, there's just so many amazing trails. It's awesome. Look at that. It's crazy. And there's some huge event going on there to the right. I don't know what it is, but maybe I should check it out after. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm in no rush. It's not like I have to work. I'm on a very brief vacation. As long as the battery's still going, I think I'll just record till the battery dies or till I get to the hotel. I just can't get over how much like, like how many people are outside and how, uh, how good the air feels and the temperature the heat and humidity in in Atlanta is you know always crazy year-round hot climate 
like when I left Atlanta on my flight Saturday, like the day before, or I guess actually it rained a little bit the day before, but the day before that, like that whole week, temperatures were like peaking in the mid nineties and over a hundred. And then feeling like even hotter than that because of the humidity. It's wild. Yeah, I spent like 10 minutes doing an introduction in the hotel room. So unfortunately, that probably drained a decent amount of the battery. There's a bridge over there. I didn't realize the, this loop had cutoffs too. So if I didn't want to run the four, full four miles, I could make it shorter. But even though I have a race tomorrow evening, I want to get the full experience. <clears throat> University of Oregon. I can see it. Y'all see the University of Oregon out there? I'm just saying, normally I would dust that guy. Just saying. But we're taking it easy because we gotta race tomorrow. That is beautiful campus. Wow. Oregon Ducks. Who knows, maybe that guy's running the 1500 tomorrow as well. Who knows? There's a little creek to my right, ducks in the water. Hey, it is. They all are called the Oregon Ducks, that's their mascot. Makes sense. Is that poop? Manure? Fertilizer? Got some beautiful dogs. Look at that. Wow. Look at that stadium. This was definitely worth the trip. I'm glad I got out the hotel room to do this. Cause I really wasn't gonna run today because my foot but especially when I'm not running on the road I just feel no pain right now at all in these comfortable cushion cloudy shoes plus running on softer surface in Atlanta you have no choice really but to run on the roads and sidewalks everywhere. Look at that stadium. I'm gonna stop for a minute. Maybe for, put that in the thumbnail, I don't know. Could have so many good thumbnails. Look at their indoor facility. Wow, it's incredible. Uh, now I don't wanna get lost. Thank you. Is this, I don't know, I don't want to get all the lots. Excuse me, how do I keep going on Priest Trail? Am I going the right way or should have I turned Please on that bridge? Right I'm just trying to stay on Priest Trail, the oh, full loop. Go right there, that sign, you go left. Is that the full four mile loop if I keep going yeah, over you there? Go, you, go, you go by the bridge, you uh -huh. stop, and you go around and come back by the river. 
All right. There's a fork down there. You can either go along the river and go up to I-5 bridge and around, but hit that left side right there because it's all the other around. All right, thank you. That guy had Siri helping him with his run. Technology is something. Yeah, I almost got lost already. So that that was not that wouldn't have been the right way if I kept going there. Okay. Yeah. So then this will be the connector trail. It'll do another like lollipop for the next like two two and a half miles, uh, and then this will you can go back the other way, or you can just continue the rest of the loop, go this way, and it'll bring you back to that same parking lot. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That guy found me, bro. He's so helpful. My house is getting lost already. So many people out here. Oh, it's pretty muddy. Oh, that breeze feels nice. Watson Stadium, I guess that's the name of the Oregon football stadium I was looking at. Got some dip bars. I actually use that. Got a dip bar here. Right? That hurt my feet. I should not have dropped down so hard like that. Holy. They got bars for dips, man. It's crazy. Probably shouldn't have been doing dips the day before race, but whatever. Where did that guy go? Beautiful. Tall grass. He turned off this way. I'm going this way too. made like no difference. <clears throat> Dude, the mountain range in the back is so cool. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see that so clearly. Way out there. Mountain range. There's a pond right here. People in a canoe. This is amazing. People fishing. And Fatal's watching this. See people fishing.
I see what that guy meant. He turned left to loop back around. So I'm gonna go right. That was a restroom, I think. I don't know. I don't think so, actually. That pond is beautiful. You can see the stadium. Look at that. He went this way, but I'm going this way. There's just so many different trails, it's like confusing. And even where it turns in a road, there's no cars on here. It's really nice. And the roads are even and paved well. Look at that. Not a hotel back there? There's a house up there on that hill. Gigantic, tall, what are those pine trees? I don't even know. Clouds. This is just beautiful. Man. And then you got this mountain range to the left. Got a bunch of flowers. It's amazing. The river's to my right as well. Bridge up there. You can go down to the, there's a path right along the river. It's amazing. Oh, I wish I could afford to stay out here for a week. I'd run out here every day. 10 miles a day. Easy, no foot pain. I really gotta pee now. Actually, but it's all good. This is the first time I'm going to be racing the day before, sorry, running the day before my race in, in like three weeks or four weeks, like since my first race, like a month ago. Because this foot injury started giving me trouble on June 1st and Hasn't really been the same since. So every race since June 1st, I think I've taken the day off before racing. Or maybe one time I just biked the day before, but I don't have my bike out here, obviously. My mountain bike or my stationary bike. Look at the mountains. Wow. Man, living out here would be awesome. Or living in Denver. Hopefully I can visit Denver sometime too. Only got to go in the airport, unfortunately. Everyone here is so 
outdoorsy and active and fit. Oh, I saw that guy earlier. So I think I'm going the right way. Just backwards from his direction. There's bike paths here too. <clears throat> I mean, you can ride the bike on this path too, but there's like dedicated bike paths, paved path, like that one. Look at that bridge going right over the river. It's gorgeous. Oh, we're going to go under the bridge here, maybe. Maybe. Oh, I could go under the bridge, but I'm going to stay here. Pre's running trail. Oh, it does say bike shouldn't be on here. It says bikes, bicycles, please use paved paths. Interesting. Well, it looks like people are following that rule too. Uh. I hope I'm headed the right way. Shit, you didn't tell me whether I was headed the right way or not. Well. Hey, the sun is coming out from behind the clouds a little bit. There are so many paths. Like, what? I could go. I'm going that way. I'm staying on the wood chip trail. I could go on this path, though, too. Or that one. There's people paddle boarding on kayaks or something. What? This is amazing. Can hear the birds. I want to just finish this loop so I can go check out that festival. The camera battery was like 99% charged when I started the recording, so hopefully with these settings it should last 100 minutes at least. someone's house there's houses right on the river or this little stream that feeds into the river those are beautiful houses too wow
trying not to stop, but I'm trying to get like a still frame so you can clearly see the houses. If my stomach does not feel good, I'm definitely gonna fart. <sighs> yep. This is amazing. Oh my, look at all those geese. Wow, imagine living here, bro. Oh my goodness. That house is like a mansion. <clears throat> Look to the left, there's those houses that I saw on the hill. just fall up what the heck bro ow no damn it bro i just twisted my ankle that bird just landed on my head oh no man oh that's my bad foot too God. that bird just literally landed on my head oh my god that pissed me off That's my bad foot too, my bad ankle. Oh man, bro. Feeling great too. Feeling comfortable, super comfortable at this pace. No pain in my foot, nothing, and then that happens. It's just my luck. It's just my luck. I gotta walk a little bit. That makes me so angry, man. That makes me so angry. So already I'm dealing with an injury, man. That is so frustrating. Oh, I'm really pissed off too. God, now my mmm. Now my ankle really hurts on the other side, man. On the inside of my foot. That's not even where I was having pain before. I was having pain on the outside of my foot. And on the top of my foot and underneath my foot. And now I'm having pain on the inside of my foot. That's just amazing. And it's all the same foot. That's great. All because some Fucking random bird just literally landed on my head. It didn't even fly over my head. It just landed on my head. No reason, man. It just pissed me off. Oh, God. That is frustrating. And I've been substituting running for biking a lot, lowering my mileage, taking some off days the past like three weeks almost since this injury started. And before this run today, I, I was uh, massaging my foot and ankle extensively, stretching, like stretch for about 30 minutes and massage my foot with uh, a massage tool and my hands. I massage both feet actually for like 10 minutes and then started running. Plus I have these new shoes, everything feels good with them. Oh, see, I'm back at this pond. So I don't even think I did the full loop right. I don't even know. <sighs> Isn't this the same pond? I think it is. Some guy fishing. All right, well, hopefully that was just a twist. Like a mild 
tier one ankle sprain and not anything serious, I hope. I'm, I just need to go back now to the trailhead. Feels better now, so that's good. See now, yeah, that's what I thought. I basically finished the loop now because I went that way earlier, so where I came from this way and I turned right and then, yeah. I don't think I did this loop exactly right, but. Because I, I was supposed to do a complete loop. Right now I'm just going backwards where I came from. But that part, I did a loop there. Behind me, I turned right and then did a loop all the way back to this pond. But I still don't think I did the full four mile loop correctly. <sighs> oh geez, man. I don't have an ice pack either. I don't know if the hotel has ice. Oh, I could go this way. I'm gonna get lost. I think this is the way I already went. Maybe, maybe not. Wish I had somebody to show me around to like, just take me on the proper loop to teach me. I'm kind of just going wherever. See, the inside of my foot feels like it's tingling. That's not a good thing. Or the inside of my ankle. Top of everything, man. Existing injury <clears throat> and getting lost. Just had to go and roll an ankle. Those are the giant trees I saw on the hill. There's a squirrel just standing upright in the middle of the trail. <laughs> That's hilarious. Another trail that way? Bro, I don't even know. All I know is on a normal day when I don't have the race, a race the next day, I could definitely see myself breezing through a trail like this at 6.30 pace or faster for eight miles or more getting really fit on this surface and this relatively flat trail. Okay, this is the way I came. Oh, see, I should have just kept going that way because then I would have gone a new direction. See, now I'm just going, I'm going back even though it's gonna add on. Oh Lord. I think this will give me a cut through though. Maybe I'll take this road. Oh, yep. That's what happens when your stomach ain't feeling the best. 
shoes are meant for the road after all. Yeah, there we go. I took a little shortcut. Yeah, I'm going this way because I want to try to complete the loop properly instead of just going back the way I came. The good thing is, aside from that ankle twist, which the pain's basically subsided from that, I haven't been feeling much of any pain from my existing injury. There's another trail underneath this bridge. Alton Baker Park or whatever that's said. There's a bridge over there. All right. Is this like, where the heck am I even going now? This cannot be right. I'm gonna just turn around. This trail seems really cool, very narrow, but I don't think it's the right way. I don't know. That looks like my dog Precious, just a lot bigger. This might be a good place to stop and get a thumbnail. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Jeez, bro. Oh, the air is so crisp and refreshing here. Now I'm on that path that like follows the river. And I again have no idea what I'm doing. Riverfront Field, University of Oregon. I'd like to get back to that, to that, um, I'd like to get back to that festival I saw. I'm just lost though, again, as always. The University of Oregon South Bank Trail and North Bank Trail. All right, well, I definitely am not on Priest Trail anymore. Jeez, bro. So leave it to me to get lost like four times in one run. Well, I'm glad I went across that bridge though, because that was beautiful. But I also didn't complete the loop properly. If I did, I should have ended up right back where I started on those wood chips, but I did not. Most definitely did not.
I wish my flight didn't leave so early Tuesday morning. I'd love to come out here and bike. You can just bike forever out here. There are a ridiculous amount of trails. And getting lost on a bike wouldn't matter nearly as much so you can go way faster. and all but I've just gotten myself lost a ridiculous amount of times it's almost impressive Should have just turned around. Should have. <clears throat> Eugene Riverfront Festival. Dude, I did not plan on running for this long, man. But like, at this point, oh geez, it's a bad look for me. Abandoned warehouse something my original injury is starting to bother me a little bit off this on this uh concrete Dude, just please tell me, like, come on, bro. Like, isn't this the bridge that I almost went under from the, at the very start of this run? Or is that a different bridge? Because I think this is the same bridge. If it is, then I know about where I am right now, which would be a really good thing.
Yeah. I'm so smart. Yeah, I know where I am now. Definitely did not run that trail correctly. Did not do the full loop correctly, but... I am about back where I started now. I'm about to start walking too. Mill Street. I think I'm gonna go to this place called Voodoo Donuts that my friend, former teammate and former coach told me is so good. Not right now, of course, obviously, because I don't have my wallet on me or my phone or a shirt. Yeah, I, I, a little bit messy, but yeah. Burgers. It smells good. This is straight through the heart of downtown. I'm gonna walk the rest of the way in a little bit though, even though I have to pee really badly. even though I haven't been doing one continuous run like I planned, in total I've been running significantly longer than I had originally planned. I only intended to run, I mean once I decided to run Priest Trail I knew I was going to run longer, but and before I decided on Priest Trail I was only going to run 15 minutes at most, 15-20 minutes. And once I settled on pretty straight, I still only wanted to run about 45 minutes. But now we've been running like probably about 60 minutes. Interrupted, not under, not uninterrupted, obviously, but still. Not only that, but I mean, it's now it's a, past 1 p.m. Past 1 p.m. And I have a race tomorrow at somewhere between 5 and 7 p.m. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just walk it in, bro. Jeez. Oh, It's like a post office here, yep. Eugene, Maine post office, carrier, Amex. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, wow, someone wrote pussy on do not enter sign. How about that? Well, at least I did limit myself to a jog. Nice slow pace, but just not not excited about that ankle ankle roll. Not at all. It's not a good thing. On top of that, my my like shin is sore, or like the the front of my calf. Also on the left side. Just wonderful. It's not even like a muscle you can stretch. You can only massage it too.
definitely gonna have to do some extensive stretching and massaging after this take a nice hot shower warm my muscles some more because it's the weather's cool out here so I don't, my muscles don't warm up like they do back home take a nice hot shower then stretch some more and then maybe try to get my hands on some ice and then uh and then ice my foot maybe for like my foot and ankle for like 20 minutes if i could get some ice that'd be good and then eat maybe check out the voodoo donuts place which is somewhere around here and then tomorrow before the race take uh hefty dose of ibuprofen and warm up put on my spikes and hope for the best the race should only be about four minutes long so hopefully hopefully the uh you know i've run like I've run like uh, nine races over the past month since I started racing. I started I started training like two months ago and started racing like a month ago. And I've run like nine races over the last four weeks. Two 400s, two 800s, two 5Ks, two 3Ks, and a 1500. So wait, how many races is that? Two four hundreds, two four hundreds, sorry, two four hundreds, two eight hundreds, two five Ks, two three Ks, and fifteen hundred, yeah. It's nine races. I think I started racing on May seventh or something. Wait. Or no. Or no, no. That's not right at all. Uh, May 24th and it's June 19th so yeah less than a month nine races and I haven't had pain during any of them I have had pain leading up to them and after them like the next day um, but I've been managing it as best I can and taking ibuprofen over the uh, every race after June 1st when the injury started or whatever. So. And that has at least seemed to uh, to prevent the feeling of pain during my races. And I ran a 1500 only last Tuesday today is Sunday so yeah five days ago yeah ran a 1500 five days ago and didn't have any pain and that was right I ran a 400 right before it and a 3k right after it and still didn't really have any pain but I was also on ibuprofen and all we have to do is just run one 1500 tomorrow so yeah should be good These new shoes are definitely really helping, I think. And I've been continuing to run on soft surfaces. I've been running a lot on the track and running on uh, artificial turf grass, you know, on the infield inside the track by my house. Mostly been running on there to try to reduce pain. And it's been, it's been mostly working, but I've been having to break up my runs, bike a lot instead of running a good amount of time, and then take a few off days, and just reduce my mileage overall. But I need to go to the doctor when I get back home and then hopefully start to treat this better. Oh, fuck 12. That's what that says. It's nice. 
It's a nice underpass, actually. Look at that little van. Reminds me of an old Volkswagen bus. Except smaller and uglier. It's definitely, I feel like this is definitely like an LGBTQ and like hippie, hipster hotspot. But definitely a good place for runners and athletes. A lot of outdoor activities around here. But I don't know if I could I don't know if I could do with the weather though. Cause if it's 60 degrees right now during the middle of summer, June 19th, if it's 60 degrees right now. I mean during the winter time it's gotta be cold. And it, I believe it rains a lot out here. So I mean, I don't know. Like yeah, it gets really hot down south where I live, but I mean, I never have to wear a coat, a jacket, rarely ever. I, mean, I don't even own like a winter coat, at least not one that I bought. Most I'll ever, you'll ever see me wearing is like a hoodie sometimes or a long sleeve shirt. But honestly, like year round, even dead in the middle of winter, like Christmas time, I'll still be running shirtless. Like 99% of my runs, I'd be running shirtless. Like literally, not even exaggerating with that number. This is the garden I passed on the way, on the way out. And it is stunning. I could walk in there maybe, but I gotta start treating this ankle right now. There's the bus. I took an Uber from the airport last night to the hotel because the bus wasn't running that late, but that's the bus I would have taken. Because the Uber was $25 and the bus rate was apparently only $2. But my flight got in at 9 p.m. and the bus stops at 6 p.m., I think. And that's what it said when I looked it up. Let me make sure the camera's still... Yeah, we're still recording. Battery's not dead. And see, now the outside of my ankle on the same foot is just... <sighs> in some pain, but... It is what it is. What can you do? I mean, that's just terrible luck that a bird would land on my head. Awful luck. Bird lands on my head and I get lost so much. See, like, finding the trail wasn't that hard because I knew the general direction. Even when I didn't know exactly where I was going, I knew the general direction of the trail because I looked it all up on my phone. The problem is I should have looked up a map of the trail on my phone. Because the problem is once I found one of the trailheads is I was getting lost on the actual trail. and did not know. There was just so many different paths. So many different crossing paths. So many different intersections. Not gonna lie, that is the cool board. I don't even know what you call that, but public parking. All right, we are almost back to the hotel. See, wait, here's Adam Street. Yeah, yeah, we're almost there. So I just take a left right here. Yeah, there's that market. I'll just go through the lot. Why not? 
Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh, the inside of my foot hurt when I turned my foot inward. I'm gonna have to carefully examine this after. That is just so unlucky. It was a beautiful bird too. I just don't know why it had to literally just land on my head. Uh, I didn't know what it was at first. I thought maybe it was like a bug, an insect, a wasp, I don't know. It just turned out to be a harmless bird. And I was turning to the side too much trying to show views of that stream and those houses anyway. That's more what got me tripped up because then I wasn't looking in front of me and went off the trail into that divot. If I wasn't looking to the side when the bird hit me, I might have not gone off the trail and twisted my ankle. But I'm hopeful that it's just a very, very minor sprain because once I walked for just like five minutes, the pain largely subsided. So that's good. Wait. This is the most like, I never see these type of gas stations in, in Atlanta. Like they don't even have like a proper convenience store. I guess they have a 7-Eleven right here. There's no like 7-Elevens in Atlanta really. I didn't realize that 7-Elevens were like, I thought they were gas stations, like gas station convenience store combos. But you can just have standalone 7-Elevens, I guess. Like a corner store. Cause like, I'm trying to think of like, what type of corner stores we have in Atlanta. In the Atlanta metropolitan area. And I don't know, I don't know what corner stores we have. I mean, we have pharmacies and we have lots of gas stations. But like, they usually are, have, and some of them have huge convenience stores, but they're like attached to the gas station. Like Quick Trip and stuff. And then we have, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's starting to rain. Um, oh, what's it called? What was I going to say? Lost my train of thought. Oh, we also have, like, dollar stores, of course. Like, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. But... I don't know what our equivalent of a 7-Eleven would be. But yeah, anyway, we're back at the Signature Inn where I'm staying for the next two nights. And I stay here last night. Yeah, we're back. I mean, it's nice though, like, I feel so clean. There's like not a drop of sweat on me. Now, granted, I wasn't exerting myself that much. I, I wasn't like, giving a strenuous wasn't a strenuous workout I wasn't you know I was running at 50% effort but because I have a race tomorrow but still even with that like granted granted I was giving like 50% effort still because of the cool climate you know the weather just being way nicer I'm just like not sweaty at all. Don't feel dirty, nothing. In Atlanta, I'd be drenched, drenched in sweat right now, even at 50% effort for running as long as I did because it's just way hotter, way hotter. But yeah, we're back. I think that's where, that's gonna do it for the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If anyone's watched this far, thank you so much. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch and take a shower now and warm up and get some food later or something i don't know but yeah uh gonna try to get somebody to record probably not with this camera probably just with my phone try to get somebody to record the race tomorrow and post that i'm so behind on videos it is june 19th and i still haven't posted videos of like uh 
some like long bike rides and like my last nine races that I was just talking about. I haven't posted any of them, but as soon as I get back from this trip, I'm going to work on that. And when I have time, of course, which is hope, hopefully within, uh, you know, I'll get back to Atlanta in two days and then hopefully within the next three days, I'll have uploaded all or at least most of those videos and then upload this one and then upload the race video. And then I'm hoping to do a bike ride around the entirety of Stone Mountain Park and upload that too. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, I don't really, I don't really have time to film much else. I could try to charge this camera and film maybe me just walking downtown to the donut shop or something like a little vlog type thing. But I don't have much time to explore the city outside of what I just did and film much else. But if I think of anything and I have the battery charged, uh, I'll record something else. But yeah. Here, I'll take this off now. Point for me. Thank you guys. Appreciate you watching. Got a new smile now. By the way, I finally, after uh, 12 years, finished with my orthodontic aligners, dental implant, dental crown, oral surgery, braces that I had, had brace, dental braces in middle school and aligners for the past two years. And I have a retainer in now, but it's finally done. Everything's all straightened out. So, oh, we got a low battery warning. Only 10% battery remaining. But yeah, we made it. And, you know, despite getting lost multiple times and twisting my ankle, we made it back safely. And we got to see some, some cool sights. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys, man. Shout out to y'all. Make sure you like the video share like the video subscribe share comment all that stuff if you want if you enjoyed um this definitely leave some marks on me but yeah i hope this was enjoyable for you and hopefully we can travel more in the future um you know i'm not rich or anything but i'll try my best to diversify the content and record outside of atlanta when i can and yeah, I'll just continue to update you guys on status of my injury, on my races, um, all things running and fitness, uh, everything like that. And you want a physique check? I am probably about, uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't have my scale with me right now, but I'm probably about... Somewhere in between, I guess, 152 and 155 pounds at this exact moment. But yeah, something like that. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching, man. You guys are the best. Much love. And until next time, guys, peace out.